the skeletons of corruption of yester years also are tumbling out of the closet of Congress. And one such is the story that we are going to share with you today. And here we have one of the confidants of Mrs. Gandhi here. Mrs. Gandhi means Mrs. Indira Gandhi's confidant. P.K. Thungan. P.K. Thungan, who was member of parliament for 17 long years, who was the first chief minister of Arunachal Pradesh, who was twice the chief minister of Arunachal Pradesh, rather, who was twice union minister for government of India, once during Mrs. Indira Gandhi as a prime minister, and once as P.V. Narsimha Rao as a prime minister. With Mr. P.V. Narsimha Rao, he was the MOS for urban development and employment. And you would all remember that he was a very close associate and a close confidant of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. He was embroiled in one of the then well-known irrigation scandals of Nagaland. Two crore rupees was misappropriated by Mr. P.K. Thungan then. He was also embroiled in one of the well-known cases in Delhi, the DDA flat and allotment scam. And the reason as to why we discuss him today is only recently, about a day ago, he has been convicted by the CBI and he has been sent to judicial custody. Only sentencing is remaining and I believe the sentencing will take place on 27th of this month. The age of Indira Gandhi is over, but still the corruption cases of that age is existing. This is called as fossil corruption, fossilized corruption. The corruption which does not die, the corruption which lives forever during the reign of the Congress. And look at the shamelessness of the Congress, that the Congress is trying to gain a high moral ground as far as corruption is concerned. Today, if the Congress needs to do something, then the Congress needs to introspect. Congress, which is responsible for some of the biggest scams of the country, Congress, which is responsible for fossilized corruption as well, dare not stall the parliament and question the party which is meant for development of this country. Since Mr. P. K. Thungan was uh, a prominent Congress leader from Northeast and who was the chief minister for two terms and two terms as union ministers, Congress should not disown him. Since the case for which he, he was convicted and another case about the allegation of uh, misappropriation and mishandling of the entire house allotment in uh, DDA flats in Delhi. So he was accused of all these activities while he was a Congress minister in the Union Council of Ministers. So Congress should own responsibility.